worked out that I go on two week cycles that I can kind of remain for the le for a constant length of time before a switch is two weeks and that's a really big thing to to work that out it explains a lot. I've always had this fascination with numbers, <laughs> even though I'm really stink at numbers. Um, but I've always I've tried to, as a kid, I suppose, um, I put a lot of belief in numbers, which was also, by the way, a sign of mental illness. Which is, you know, not the greatest. <laughs> but it's really excellent to know that I go on two-week cycles of things. All that I remain at most constant in two weeks. In two, yeah, 14 days. So I'm going to strive to go past that in the next week because I'm hitting my two weeks cycle today and tomorrow. And what I'm going to do on Wednesday, which will be the lowest of my, or the start of the lowest of my Two week cycle of feeling low, lowish. <laughs> Even my lowest now is euphoria for what I used to be before I started my grand experiment. But anyway, on Wednesday, I'm gonna walk from my house here in Frankton, Hamilton, <laughs> New Zealand. Uh, to see my psychologist, Veronica. Um, I'm going to walk. Uh, I stopped walking. Out, going out. Probably before I got the bash. You know, I, uh, I talk about it, but... um. I've, ne I've never been in relationships where I've been, where it's been violent. Uh, well, apart from my childhood, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> but that was forced on me through accident of birth. Um, I could have accidentally been born into a house where there is no violence, but I've never had been in a violent relationship with men though if you go to Hamilton Hamilton go dancing in Hamilton uh, makes you get hit on really badly by crude cultureless bush pigs especially if we if our culture is sports then we are cultureless because we are something less because drinking and sports just just to make people into wankers make guys into wankers i've been trying to educate my male friends um about the objectification of women um because their belief is that if a guy hits on me, I should feel complimented, and I don't. I it just feels icky. I I don't want to know that I'm sexually attracted, attractive, to to anyone. I'm really enjoying leading a celibate life out of choice, and for my mental health, and. When guys yell things out of car windows at me or fill me up, 
I, I, I'm supposed to feel complimented, but I don't. I hate it. It feels like... It feels yucky. It doesn't make me feel good. I don't dance around going, Ooh, neat. A man finds me sexually attractive. Yay, I finally have a use in life. Yay. I mean, God. Maybe I've just had enough of it, you know, starting from when I was in nappies with Uncle Alan. You know, maybe I'm just a bit sick of it and maybe I'm I'm not normal but I, I think I am normal on that I, I know girls don't like it we don't see it as a compliment when we get yelled at or hit up or or, or or being told that I really like what you're wearing but really they're staring at my boobs I didn't experiment years ago with guys because I noticed guys would wouldn't be talking to me they'd be they'd be talking to my breasts <laughs> oh, talking to my breasts so I did this thing where I'd look down and talk to their penis <laughs> I'd just look at their loins the whole time that we, we were talking this is only guys that would stare at my boobs it was really hard for me to do this I, I didn't want to do it at all girls naturally don't look at men's bulges but I was just got sick of it I think that was in 1996 I started that experiment where I would stare at men's bulges if they were talking to my breasts and they didn't like it they didn't like it their hands would intuitively cover their loins and the conversation would falter and, and then I'd say, well, hang on, but you've been just staring at my breasts this whole hour while I've been talking to you. Um, and I've just spent five minutes talking to you, staring at your loin, and you feel really uncomfortable. So don't you think that girls feel really uncomfortable when you're just staring at their boobs all the time? Yeah. It worked, but um, I didn't have the mental strength to carry it on. Yeah, I really hate it. I hate it. Hate the. I hate that I'm supposed to feel flattered, that men still find me sexually attractive. I do. I hate it. I just want to kill them. I really do, and my. It seems like my male friends don't get it. They just don't get it, eh? They just think, oh, she's just, you know, oh, isn't she cute? Oh, poor, poor her. She's having to put up with men finding her sexually attractive. You know, you've got a function in life now, and that's eye candy. And I'm not eye candy. I was never eye candy. I never signed a form that says, yes, I willingly want to be eye candy. Tick that box. Sign my signature because two-year-olds don't know how to write. And, you know, I see it with young girls who are developing into young women. You know, in the 10... Eight to ten, no, sorry, eight to say, I don't know, well, from that age, once they start developing boobs, men are looking at them sexually, but they're just girls. And they shouldn't be doing that. It's bad. Stop doing it. And those girls get in trouble because they're supposed to be flirting with guys. They've got no idea. They're just busy being children really unfair so anyway I'm going to try and experiment and walk to see my psychologist Veronica on, on Wednesday I'm going to go out during the day normally if I go out I go at, out at night 
very late at night or in the wee hours of the morning and I slink in the shadows so that no one can see me and watch the world go by and pretend that those strangers that I see passing by are not my friends but that's my socialization you know hey oh, we share the same space on the surf at the same time yay that socialization done <laughs> But yeah, Hamilton, New Zealand is not a safe place for girls. Maybe New Zealand's not a safe place for girls. That blooming John Key's attitude that we live in a tactile society. I I heartily recommend all young girls kick men in the loins. <laughs> all women kick men in the loins. <laughs> and go, wow, we live in a tactile society, isn't that cool? No, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Anyway, getting trust power, ultra fast cable worked really well. It takes at the most three minutes to upload something onto the internet. So I'm going to go and get dressed now. I'm going to upload this and go and get dressed. And tidy up my house some more.